Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy iOS updates in Intune. Let's go into at the Intune admin portal. I'd like to go to portal.office.com and go to administrator admin. And under admin, click on Intune. We log in. All right, so I'm in Intune, and there's the software updates. I'm going to click on software updates here. And the software update, there's an updates policy for iOS. So I would click on that. Click on create. Let's give it a, a name. I'm going to call it YouTube demo. The description. I'm going to skip that one. Setting configure. Select times to prevent update installation. It says stop time uh, days. You want to prevent update from installing, you know, like um, I would choose maybe during the business hours, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday or Friday. So you want the, the update to be installed on Sunday and Saturday only. Click on that. What are the time zones? It's all UTC, UTC time. Let's prevent update from installing between 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Delay vis visibility of software updates. So it says days before software updates are visible to iOS device. So you want to choose num uh, the days before the software updates available. By default, it's 30, so you can choose from 0 to 30. I'm going to choose um, 10 days. And if you want to know more information about this um, policy update, you can click on this Learn More. And here's we'll explain about each settings. It's talking about whether to delay visibility or survey update to enter users. To enter user, you can select a delay range of survey updates from 1 to 90 days to opt out of survey setting updates. So you put 0, it's going to install right away. I'm going to put 10. So click on Create. Once you click create, you have to click on deploy or assignment. And under assignment, you want to select the group. All users, all devices, or both. Or you can just select the test group. I'll call this uh, Intune Test. Click on save. Close it out. So that's how you deploy updates for that's how you create policy updates for iOS devices that's it thank you for watching and have a good day